What's up, guys? It's Power Bang here. We are mid war against Clan Vanuva, if that's pronounced correctly. I'm sorry if it's not. Um, so far, we have uh, jumped out to a big lead. We've used, obviously, a far more attacks. We don't really know if they're going to try to fight back or not yet uh, this war, but. Um, the reason I'm doing this mid-war is we already have multiple, multiple attacks that I think are awesome. There's a good variety of attack strategies, and I wanted to bring pretty much all of them to you, so if there are quite a few more um, great raids, I will make a part two to this war. So, first thing, let's just hop in and, and get right into it. So, attack on their number eight is by Trigger from our side. If you'll check out this base, um, he's going to come at it with a hollow wee wee attack. So he sends in uh, a round of loons. He's targeting uh, buildings, going either two for one or one for one trades, taking these out. And uh, he's going to do the same thing uh, on the sides here. Now, the Teslas are kind of popped in some random locations, um, that, and that kind of almost throws his raid off here, but he's able to recover from that. Uh, he trims all of the buildings at the top as well and gets the, the clan castle lure. One final balloon goes in, make sure everything's uh, good to go, and he's going to pull the troops down to the bottom. Drops a couple distraction barbs, and hey, what do you know, there's a Tesla there. Gets his witches down, his uh, skeletons begin spawning. Got his wizards coming in. He loses a couple to or one to the Tesla there uh, because it's in range. The other Tesla pops up at the bottom, and so he's going to go ahead and deploy his golem early to go ahead and take some of that aggro from them. Uh, so as those uh, troops move in, he drops his king, and then some wall breakers behind that narrowly miss the mortars. Does a good job avoiding the mortar fire. He gets in. He's able to successfully kill the queen uh, with his barbarian king, and then it's time to start the remainder of his raid. And that's going to be some some hogs coming in from the bottom right here. Now he does a two finger drop, moves into the base, and as you can see, he still has four heals in his pocket, and there is nothing left of this base except for expos and a few archer towers and mortars. So he moves in, um, catches one giant bomb there with one hog. It's a great little uh, trade there. He's healed up all the way through the core. That's really the only danger he has left. He drops a, a final heal in the core here uh, to get his hogs healed up. Everything's pretty much at full life here. Um, he's lost hardly any hogs, and they move over to this last Tesla um, to take out the final defense. He gets the uh, heals on it to make sure that when they are fighting the Barbarian King that they're up at full life. And then he sends in a balloon at the top for some cleanup. So... Um, Barb King's going down. We're in cleanup mode. We're going to go ahead and fast forward through the rest of this. This was just a beautiful raid by Trigger. Um, everything was done pretty much flawlessly. He had a chance to get a little bit flustered at the beginning of this raid uh, when Tesla's popped up in random positions, uh, but he did not waver. He stuck to his plan, got the job done, and uh, executed a three-star attack on number eight for the opening attack on the base, so that was impressive. Um, moving on to the next uh, attack, we'll go to number 10 here. Uh, we have Yo attacking number 10, and he is going to come at this base with more of a traditional Go Wee Wee style attack. Now, he's got three witches and about 16 wizards. He's going to spread his golems uh, one down the middle, one down the left, one down the right. Now, that's the way to do it on this style of base. Have them, uh, the ones on the outside just follow, uh, follow the defenses get some wizards behind him and there you know it doesn't take much he drops a uh, pekka out of the clan castle and then jump spells his troops into the core and uh, is able to throw a heal on top of them to deal with the clan castle troops now the witches are able to spawn enough skeletons to keep them busy and and uh, not take a whole lot of damage once he's into the core uh, the barbarian king you know go, goes ahead and uh, will use his ability right here the rage is down uh, the troops are doing work, and then on the back side of the core, he throws down his final spell. It's a heal uh, to handle the multiple Teslas that are firing at his Pekkas and uh, his wizards and witches. So he's broken through um, 
the walls coming out of the back side of the core he's taking out defenses on the top side he's got distractions uh, from the golem still all of his troops are covered on the bottom side he's got a golem trying to catch up to the pack here um, but they're firing at uh, skeletons doing some off tanking in the center of the base still um, as you can tell this is this is going well he's got an archer queen at full life with an ability left with only two defense buildings left this is going to be a three star raid um, excellent job yo great deployment of your golems um, very good job keeping them spread and working through this base and uh, knocking it out so good job um, kind of a standard go wee wee it's good to see one of those every once in a while um, it's it's wise to use those on the spread out bases like the one we just saw um, not a lot of walls to deal with large compartments so they can move around freely etc etc so uh, the next raid is by myself power bang on number 12 here um, this is a hollow wee wee raid and this is on a famous base called the baconator this is why kids you do not copy your bases off the internet I knew exactly where everything was uh, before this raid started. The Teslas are in the core. Um, you got double bombs on the top left and bottom right uh, outer compartments. Um, simple to just send in a couple loons to target it to defenses on the outside of the building to trim this base. You'll notice I pulled the, uh, the clan castle troops up to the top of the base. Um, had some witches so I wanted to get something really slow moving so I dropped a couple balloons uh, in order to to get those up to the top and uh, allow my kill squad to take them out so drop a couple barbs here for a distraction which is behind um, wizards behind the witches and finally the archer queen and they're going to go ahead and clean up this mess of clan castle troops and uh, once that's done, uh, there's a queen, and I'm going to try to create a funnel on the army camp here so everything's moving from right to left. I'll drop my Barbarian King, and you'll notice it's just a little bit late, and he's going to start circling the base to the right. This actually works out in my favor, but was not what I intended to do. Um, this player has low-level heroes, so the, my level 19 queen was able to take out his with, with ease and like two shots. Um, Set off the, the first bomb of the double bomb set there with one hog and then send in my hogs with a two finger drop. I catch a little bit of that first bomb and drop my heel. Clan castle hogs come in behind to reinforce the uh, hogs in the core. And I've got four heels basically to heal the core here. Um, my hogs are standing in heels the entire time. I lose basically nothing as they move through. Uh, now they're going to move from one side of the core to the other. I'll drop my third heel. And... Uh, the last heal is going to be on the bottom right. And you'll notice the second double bomb location, I, I wasn't really concerned about it because it doesn't have a defense on the other side of the, uh, the location to draw my troops there. It's got a barracks. So when you're designing your bases, make sure if you're going to use a double bomb, uh, make sure it's between two defenses or else it's kind of pointless, as you see here. So get the king killed. Going to fast forward through the end of this raid. Uh, troops are cruising through this base. Queen still at full life, just use their ability. Kings at half life still, uh, more or less, just smash this guy. Um, the the whole reason why though is because you know I I knew this base like the back of my hand uh, from when I saw it. Um, don't copy your bases on the internet. Design your own. Make it original so people can't you know just look at it and be like oh you know I know where everything is. Um, Moving to the next attack, let's look at uh, number 13, Turk here. He's going to come at this base, I believe, with some hog riders. He's got 38 hogs. So, first thing he's going to do, lure the queen outside the wall and suicide king. He's going to use his king on the queen, bust his ability right away, take her out. Um, easy enough, and he's going to start working his way around the base, taking out some buildings. A couple hogs come in from the bottoms, getting the clan castle lure, and he's going to pull them out and uh, go ahead and get them killed. So he anchors down here on the bottom builder hut. Troops are coming out, and there's a barb king you'll notice standing outside the wall as well, and uh, that, that could be something he could take out at the beginning of this raid. We'll see if he chooses to do so. Uh, the witches come down after the distraction barbs, a couple uh, wizards behind. Um, he still has his archer queen in the bag and looks like he might be trying to kill the king with his archer queen and that's exactly what he's doing drops a couple distraction wizards has his queen and uh she, she's going to go ahead and take out that king very good job turk taking out both heroes that were uh, exposed uh, from the outside of the base he comes in with a wall of hogs from the uh, left side of the base 
Uh, first bomb goes off, heal goes down perfectly. He's about to trip the second bomb. He pre-heals the location because it's a symmetrical base. He knows it's there. Um, he has two heals left in the bag. You can tell exactly where the, uh, the bombs are going to be. He chooses to heal the large pack of hogs, as one time in the recent past he did not do. He chose to heal the small pack, and it cost him the raid. So he's corrected on that mistake. Great job learning from, uh, you know, lessons learned. And he continues to uh, move around the base with his hogs and take out the remaining defenses. Now that last heal spell was a little bit wasted. Um, most of his hogs did not get the benefit from that as they kind of pathed around it. Something that could have been cleaned up, but it was late enough in the raid, you had already smashed everything that could really hurt you. Um, great job. <laughs> it's just clean up mode now. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward. Um, awesome job, Turk. It, uh, it's nice to see you kicking butt and three starring some bases again. So um, let's check out this next attack now. Try to squeak one more in here and still keep the video relatively short. Um, let's look at Lord Penguin's attack on number 17. Now, this was a looks like a cold-blooded lava lunian attack. He sends a Goleman at the uh, defense nearest the queen, and what he's trying to do is break into this compartment, create his funnel with the wizards by killing that army camp on the top. And he is going to send his king in to try to kill the enemy queen and also, as a secondary objective, take out the air defense in that compartment. So he's going to get the CC lure, kill the enemy queen, take out the air defense, trim some other outer buildings, trim some other uh, defenses. He's going to drop a lightning spell on the clan castle and get the clan castle killed as well. So all of that uh, with just that very small investment of opening troops, and he still has four Lava Hounds and 16 Balloons left in his bag. Um, initial Lava Hound comes in. He's taking great angles at this first air defense. He's going to be able to trip uh, the different traps that may be there. He's targeting his Balloons to certain defenses. Um, I'm going to path up there and, and pick up those Teslas. He's got Lava Hounds coming in on the backside now for the second air defense. Um, targeted Balloons coming in. Uh, taking down the defenses as they work around the base and then you'll see he targets the final air defense with another lava hound and has more balloons coming in and even has saved two balloons for the archer tower on the top that's the only other thing that he can really do um, balloons are all shielded still everything's still firing at the lava hounds the final defense that can hurt him goes down right now the last thing they have to do is take out a mortar and then they are in full cleanup mode I can't uh, even believe this he's got two uh, excuse me they got one more archer tower to take down completely not a threat but he has two lava hounds that are unbroken um, obviously that's not ideal it's not what you want um, you want them to break so you can benefit from the pups uh, in the cleanup process but he has plenty of time here he has nearly all of his balloons I don't know that he lost but maybe two or three balloons that whole raid if that um, he has all of them available in cleanup he has a couple unbroken hounds, and he's going to wreck this base with ease. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward here. Um, awesome raid, Lord Penguin. This was a excellent, excellent example of a Lava Lunian attack. Um, you did it uh, beautifully, uh, combining multiple objectives in your first uh, opening part of that raid. You got the CC lure done. You got the Archer Queen killed. You took out an air defense, and you did all of that with literally your heroes, a couple wall breakers, a golem, and four wizards. So, awesome job. I um, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I believe that's all I'm going to show for right now for the sake of time. Uh, check back soon, and I will probably have a part two to this up. Um, hoping they maybe put together a run on us here towards the end of the war. They only have 10 hours left, and they are down by 36. So... Um, we'll see. We'll see what they want to do. We have uh, quite a few cleanup ta attacks remaining. Most of the attacks that have gone out so far were the first attacks from our guys. We've only used about nine of our cleanup attacks so far. So, um, you know, best of luck to the other clan. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Hopefully, you liked what you saw. And if you guys have any suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And uh, be sure to subscribe, and you will see some more cool content coming soon. This is Power Bang. I am signing out. Catch you next time.